Winget is something new that's coming to Windows. You can have it now, today. It's kind of in beta, but you kind of have to manually install it. If it's not on your radar, I'm about to show you something that is going to be life-changing. because Windows is terrible. Okay, this machine behind me, it's a brand new, fresh setup, more or less. I've already installed a few things, but it's such a pain. I wanna download Crystal Disk Mark. I'm gonna go to the Crystal Disk Mark website. Uh, this, uh, you know, just wanna search for things and click and do the button and, do the other thing and click, load it, and then I've got all these ads and everything else. Okay, I've, fine, fine, click, click, click. Okay, this is obviously a Google ad, the giant green download button. This is a terrible user experience. Why do software engineers keep making the user experience worse and worse and worse and worse every year? I mean, it's on a website, I get it, it's for advertising, but then like, I'm seeing this stuff come out with like Windows 11 and the involuntary uh, weather widget that's at the bottom. And it's like, I don't think people are actually trying to make computers better and easier to use. And then along comes something called Winget. Winget will let you install programs from the command line with no BS, literally no BS. Check this out. First off, you need to upgrade something called the Windows Package Manager Client. The Windows Package Manager client is basically a glorified way of saying the Windows Store. And it's like, wait a minute, on this channel, you're advocating for the Windows Store? This is not the Windows Store. This is one of the components of the Windows Store that is designed to be somewhat less awful. And this has some shortcomings and we'll talk about that. But uh, you know, if you're familiar with Linux, this is package management for Windows. Finally, after suffering for the better part of a decade, we can have package management on Windows. So you wanna install this from GitHub. You wanna to go to releases and download the uh, app bundle, which will upgrade the existing one that you have. How do you already have this, but an old version? Well, it's built into Windows, it's the Windows Store. Windows downloaded it for you in the background. So once the client is installed, then you can just run the command prompt or PowerShell, which is what I prefer. Look at that. It's downloading and running the CPU set up. I had to click allow for administrator access because I didn't run the command prompt as an administrator. If I had run the command prompt as administrator, it didn't even need to ask me, but watch this. Winget install crystal disk mark. Now with 7,000 infinity percent less crystal disk info, weird click ad nonsense, crazy insanity. Now you might be wondering, are popular programs that I like in the package manager here? And the answer is probably, but as it gets more popular, you'll have to get even more stuff. Visual Studio Code, C++ Runtime, uh, versions from you know like 2012 forward, Open Broadcaster, those are all just a Winget install away. Winget has a bunch of cool features. If you just type Winget with nothing followed by it, it'll show you some cool parameters. Winget search, for example, you can search for those v Visual C++ redistributable files, all the different versions. This is so much better than searching for it on Microsoft site getting lucky if you can find it or you know downloading it from like a third party sketchy website or having to rely on a google search it's just a giant waste of your time that should be built into the operating system why would you make users suffer by not having this why is it taking so long for this to get here ah at least it's here now now if you follow the channel for a long time i reviewed another package manager for windows called chocolatey a little while ago and if you're somebody who was you know, working, being paid by the company that's working on Chocolatey. I'm so sorry because it looks like this is getting built into Windows now. Urgh, sorry. But Chocolatey was another package manager for Windows, but it wasn't built into Windows. This is from Microsoft. It is sanctioned by Microsoft. You're not really technically installing third-party software in order to manage your Windows packages. This is what the MSI installer should have promised to be. I mean, it's like, oh, let's come up with a generic installer that we can use to do stuff. But it was clear that when it, you know, that was one of those like not invented here things where Microsoft was like, let's go off and invent our own thing, you know? And it, you know, would be like somebody who came up with chocolate ice cream without ever actually tasting chocolate ice cream. It's like, what does this taste like? And you lick it and it's like, well, it's like chemicals and bleach. It's like, yeah, we never tried chocolate ice cream. It's, it was like that for package management. That's 
sort of the MSI life cycle. But now Winget, Winget can finally deliver <laughs> on a promise. It doesn't support a lot of things, like basic things. If I would like to install, say, Crystal Disk Mark and OBS and WinRAR all at the same time, it doesn't support that. And that's because you gotta remember, the people working on this are about 20 years behind the curve. It's been so amazing having this kind of functionality in Chocolatey and on Linux, they're catching up. But the cool thing is, because Windows really is kind of terrible when you let it go for years and years and years, this kind of thing makes reinstalling the operating system a lot easier. You can reinstall all of your programs. If you bring over your settings and your data or you make that just as easy and scriptable, then you can have a nice, clean, fast machine that doesn't do weird stuff. Because let's face it, after Windows has been installed two or three versions or you get like three or four upgrades through the Windows update and it's like, oh, this is a major feature upgrade. Nobody's doing any testing and everything is terrible and doing a fresh install is, is good for your health and mental sanity. So besides Winkit install OBS and Crystal Disk Park and things like that, what about something that would improve the quality of your life on a daily basis? Winkit install Power Toys. You can thank me later. There's a ton of cool stuff in Power Toys. You should check out the Power Toys website. Some features you might use more than others. Power Toys has a lot of really cool features. Fancy zones for controlling, you know, where your maximize and minimize shortcuts actually maximize and minimize windows. The keyboard manager, Power Toys rename for batch renaming files in kind of a sane way because that's not built into the operating system. And Power Toys Run, which if you're a fan of Mac or you have some experience on Mac, it's a launcher for launching applications that works like I wish the start menu search worked, where when you run it, you just type what program you want and it'll launch it, as opposed to the start menu's nonsense, which is when you start typing things, it'll maybe show you what you want, but when you see what you want and press enter, it actually changes it to a web page, because yes, that's obviously what I wanted. Power Toys, it'll help solve all that nonsense. Check it out. So you should check out Winget, install it, and Winget your way to happiness and sanity. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1, I'm signing out. You can find me at the Level 1 forums. Hey, show me what cool thing that you installed with Winget, because I'd love to see. All right, I'm signing out, and I'll see you there.